ago, our guest for tonight, Steve Allen, brought something new to television with an ad lib and formal late night talk show. Jack Parr took over where Steve left off, and the format Steve Allen started became so successful and so imitated that tonight, no matter where you turn the dial, you're going to be watching uh, the Johnny Carson show or the Merv Griffin show or the Joy Bishop show. And now we'd like to show you how sometimes all three seem to be doing the same thing at the same time. And here's Johnny! Happy group. What happened? We get the overflow from the Shriners? <laughs> hey, how do you like my new suit, Milton? Now, here's Mervyn! Thank you, thank you. My, what a happy, happy, smiling audience we have here. You know, you, you look like 300 smiling Liberaces. <laughs> and keep smiling because your dentists are watching. <laughs> hey, Mort, Mort, how do you like my new suit, huh? Here's Joey. Well, what a swinging group this is. Do I smell bananas? <laughs> hey, how do you like my new suit, Johnny? <laughs> All righty, and how's my little sidekick doing tonight? Hi, Ed, how you feeling? Ah, uh, you're beautiful, John. Oh, my worship. <laughs> <laughs> He's my very close friend. He really is. Never mind that tight suitcase business. It says so in his contract. Well, so much for that. Now let's see how my co-worker's doing. Hey, Arthur, you look wonderful. How do you feel, Arthur? Marvelous, marvelous. Wish I could say the same for you, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch it. You'll get deported. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now it's time to say hello to my compatriot, not only a dear friend, but also a college graduate. How are we doing, Regis? <laughs> <laughs> I love him, actually. <laughs> boy, the weather we're having here lately, boy, it's been... <laughs> It's really been hot here. It's so hot here. That in the delicatessen window. The tongues are panting. <laughs> <laughs> no, that isn't too funny, but I made it up myself. <laughs> tongues panting. Sometimes I amaze myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, there are lots of goodies coming up, so keep a wait. We'll be right back. So don't go away now. <laughs> so break those crackers out of the sheet and stay with us. As you know, on this show, we take great pride, inordinate pride, in discovering new talent. And this young lady I'm about to introduce has one of the most exciting voices that I've ever heard. So let's hear her for a big new talent. Boy, can I pick them? I pick them. Pick them. <laughs> oh, are we back on? <laughs> Let's see, uh, what do we do now? Oh, yes, yes. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen here's, here's a, a product, product guaranteed, guaranteed to brighten your morning. morning. Haskins Prune Juice. Take, Take it, it from, from me, me it's, it's delicious. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've reached the time in our show when I go out into the studio audience and talk to some of the people out there and just to make sure they're all wide awake, we'll just hop right down to the studio audience here. Hey, all righty, look at all there? these smiling faces here. What is your name, please? Well, let's see. Sawyer. 
I see. I saw you when you come in. Where are you from, Miss Oh, here's oh, the yeah. here's Whittier. the gentleman in the front right. row, sir. What's your name? Uh, Krovny. Call Krovny. Krovny, a very interesting name. You spell that with a C or a K. Oh, Stand oh, up, please, get I'm talking please, to you. This is my interview. That's well, what you think. Now you is. answer me, please. Where are you from, Mr. Krovny? Well, actually, I'm from. What do you do for me? I'm you trying to find out if it's a C or a K. Hey, now, wait a minute. Leave him alone. Hey, now, cut that out. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. We'll be back in a minute with the new Carl Crosby Show! Coming up, Steve Allen's Mad Lib. And uh, we'll be doing a takeoff on those cliche African safari movies that you've all seen on, you know, The Late Show millions of times. I'm often credited with having created Mad Libs, and I'd be happy to take all the bows in the world, except I did not. It was uh, originally a book created by a very talented gentleman named Roger Price. He originally was a stand-up comic himself. Uh, a cartoonist, a comic lecturer, and book author. So uh, he was the author of the Mad Libs books.